Hello everybody, my name is Christoph Schultz and I want to show you the platform manager for the application lifecycle management tool for ClickU, -Click ClickSense and ClickU 11 and 12. Um, just a short introduction into the platform manager um, from the developer, developer side. So as a developer I logged in and have my development area. Clicking on the development area I have on the left side my folder structure which can be my folder structure um, which I'm currently using on the project and on the left side I have the content of my different folders with the ClickQ files or ClickSense files and the association to each program. Additionally to that I have some information if a file is currently locked by a different user or is it checked out by a different user and by whom is it checked out and when he checked it out. Additionally to that I have a status of my ClickQ file in which version this file is currently on which stage. For example, when I take a look at the data or at the client arrivals files, I can click on the promotion state and see here that this file is currently on acceptance and on a different um, version number uh, as on development, and but it's on acceptance and production there are the same version numbers. Additionally, on that I have a history overview of all my versions, starting from the import of this file till the end and um, the last version of this file which is here the 4.2.11. Uh, um, based on the fact that uh, the platform manager easily extracts all the information from the ClickQ file or ClickSense file by checking in the file into his single point of truth repository, we can use this metadata to uh, grab some other information like the data lineage, so I can easily do a right mouse click and starting the data lineage where I have a load chain of this um, uh, file in the focus like the client arrivals and all the information which I um, get like which files do I previously load to fill up the information into the client arrivals. Additionally to that I have a chance to navigate in this chart to focus a different um, yeah, file and to have a look, okay, which file or the available flights Excel file is the source file of what other ClickQ files. Additionally, um, the metadata can be used for different analysis, so I can um, easily compare two versions of the file and uh, track the differences between these two versions by the difference analysis. So clicking on the difference and on the left side um, or on the on, on, on the upper part of the screen I have the modules with the different changes which will be detected and when I show, click on show all changes I have the differences in the script for example with the red one which were deleted and the green one which were added. Additionally to that I have it on a visual view like the front end where we change bar charts or different other line charts down to the deepest level of the properties. So when I want to change something in my click file I can easily do a right mouse click edit. Um, the file will be checked out at the platform manager, it will be locked for other users, the click file will autom or the click program will automatically open. I can do my changes if I'm feeling fine with my changes. I can just close it, save it and then do something like a check in. I can comment what I what I did with my changes, click on next. Can I purge the data? That means I can delete all the information data and when I'm finished I have a new version number, an internal version number like 13. So before I can promote it I have to assign a version easily that it's getting uh, notice by the developer so we have a new version number and then I can easily can promote it to the next stage which will be the acceptance stage and here I have an overview of my folders where I can promote it to click on next three times and then the file is promoted to the acceptance stage where the 
um, testers and the test managers can now take a look on it, approve it and put it on production, which will be in the next video. It, as I said, additionally to that, in the last step, I can also do it for the sense. Clicking on edit, it asks me the same way where, the, where to check it out, to the shared workspace. Now the different comes, it will check out to the click send server and to the hub, which will be automatically be opened and we have it here now where we can do our changes directly in the hub. When I'm finished, just close the tab, um, do an easy check-in as before with some comments with the purge data and then um, the file is checked in. I can assign a version number and then promote it again to the acceptance stage. So this was the view of the, or the short view of the developer where um, we have a file in a folder where we have access to, we can do an edit on it, we can do the data lineage to take a look at the load chain and the whole load processes and we do something like a difference analysis to check if maybe a change request was done before. When we are fine with the, uh, with the edit of this file and we do our changes, we can easily um, promote this to the next stage where the testers can now do the tests on it and then take a look if they reject it or approve it to the production. That's all for the first uh, part of the platform manager, the developer part. The second part will come up. Uh, thanks for looking the video. My name is Christoph Schulz. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. The contact details you will find in the video.